Hey guys, and welcome to the next tutorial. So in this one, we're going to set up our VR cockpit. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our blueprints and our ships, and we're going to right click our flying pawn, and we're going to do create child blueprint class. And we're going to name this cockpit and a pawn cockpit. Now a child, what that does is it inherits all the properties of the parents, but it allows you to make changes to it as a child. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to load this. And it's basically a duplicate of our flying pawn in every way, but we can make changes to it. So we're going to select our static mesh, and we're going to change that to our player ship. Okay, so we've got our ship in there now. We'll compile and save that. And uh, we'll just uh, drag these fire arrows down so they're more aligned with the guns. Oops, drag them one at a time because of the scaling issues. All right, and that's good enough for now. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is we'll have to fix our cockpit window, by the way. It's not actually visible. It's just the uh, UI stuff that's visible through it, but we'll fix that uh, later on. For now, we're going to add a component. We're going to add a spring arm. And then we're going to add, a, and we're going to name that VR spring arm. We're going to add a camera. We're going to connect the camera to the spring arm. A spring arm is kind of like what it sounds like. It's a little spring that the camera connects to that allows you to control the position. And uh, you use that to control the position of camera and VR with this current version of Unreal. We're actually going to set the target arm length of the spring arm. We're going to set that to 10. And then we're going to move our camera so that it's inside the cockpit. We can also reduce the scale of our camera a bit. We'll do 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Go inside our cockpit here. And move our camera back a little bit. And uh, that should be good for now. We can test that. So compile and save. And now we're going to go into the event graph. And um, as you can see, it has begin play, parent begin play. So that gets all the stuff that our flying pawn does on begin play. So we'll go into our flying pawn, we'll go to our event graph, and this is what it does on begin play. We're actually going to copy this, control C. We're going to bring that to our new pawn. Clear up some space here. We're going to do Control V, and we're going to get rid of the parent begin play. So we're going to override what happens on begin play. Although we're going to do the same thing anyway, but we're going to move this, and then we're going to do we're going to get the camera one. We're going to actually rename that VR camera. We're going to drag off that and do Set Active. New active. We're going to do get the old camera and we're going to drag off that and do deactivate. Sorry, you, off the VR camera, don't do set active. We want to drag off it and do activate. So when this is true, we want to deactivate the old camera, connect this to activate, and then do this. So what this is going to do is if the player has a head mounted display, it's going to deactivate the uh, follow cam. And it's going to activate the VR camera that we just set up so that the player is in the cockpit. So if this all works, we should be able to get a good cockpit view, although we won't be able to see out our glass yet. So let's just save this all. Go into the game. Make sure we drag a pawn cockpit into our world. Drag it up a little bit. So we'll do play. I'll go up to it here. And hit F, and it should work because this is a child, so it has all of the same script as the parent. And we're inside it. All right, our camera is a little bit forward on the ship, <clears throat> but we can move back a bit here in real life and get a nice cockpit view. We'll just lean forward so we can look out for now. So yeah, that'll be our cockpit view. Um, we'll going to make a lot of changes here. We're going to add a spinometer to this location, add some information and readouts, and add some uh, GUI elements so that we can do tracking and location and all that. But for now, this is looking good. So we can fly around and shoot at these asteroids that explode. We should make their explosion a bit bigger, but we'll do that in the next video. And I got to say, it's pretty awesome flying around in uh, a game you created.
All right, so we'll just need to fix the glass, but we'll do that in the next episode because I need to research exactly what we need to do. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you.